Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Republican in Spain, where we are fighting the Civil War and, quite frankly, beating the Pope out of everyone. Literally. We destroyed all the troops in a quick, gigantic dash for power. And, right now, I'm just organizing my entire lines. Because, let's see. So these guys are controlling one. There we go. So these guys are controlling three units. I don't want them to control anymore. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. That's basically good. So everyone move up to where you need to be. Uh, Yeah, I be you basically all are in the places I want you to be. Let's see. There we go. We conquered all this. And let's see. For my victory conditions, now that we basically won what I needed them to win. I don't need Cordova. I don't need any of this. Go take over all these places. Burgos, Bambo, Limbia, all this. You guys go right here. We're going to go take over Bimbo ourselves. There we go. And let's see. Yes. Yeah, and as you guys can see, my HQs are now moving in. Doing their mag magical moving in moments. And yeah, we basically won the, the Spanish Civil War. Um, Credits do what credits do. It's all because of... Great tactics, I guess. Okay, it looks like we're going to win that battle over there, too. Because we have the supply limit and they don't. Stupid, stupid idiots. They should have supplies. Okay. And then you guys are moving your troops somehow outwards. Because that's somehow a good tactic in military. Okay, I'm going to group you up with these guys, then. Let's see, what HQ is this? This is 1A HQ. Okay. 1A HQ, you guys will get a special little division dedicated to you guys. You guys go move in your troops wherever you guys need to. Okay, we just crushed these guys. Wait, no we didn't. They lost. That isn't good because they're about to go crush through everything. Yep, they just stranded my troops over there. That isn't good. Okay, for some reason you guys aren't moving in with these troops. So I'm going to go do it for you. Sheesh. Yeah, this is this is why I mean kind of people. When I mean like I hate, I hate when the game does not do exactly what I want to. Especially for troop movements. Because this... This should be already done. The people, the these guys should not be trying to defend the coastline and be like, "Oh yeah, we should defend the coastline." No, they should be like, "Yeah, we should go conquer this land because it has nothing." Defend him. Sure, we could lose some organization. They should just be like, "We should move in because like we have the upper advantage." Like seriously, that's how they should be thinking. But sadly, they're not. They're thinking, "Oh, we should protect our coastline because because there could be a possible attack from the coastline." The game's concluded. Instead of moving in and stopping the uh, massive conscription of the uh, of these guys, I mean seriously. Uh, but anyways, we're winning. We're winning anyway, so I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop now, guys. We are completely crushing their troops. We kind of lost a lot of our good men, but luckily these are mostly the men that the Russians lent us. So I guess it doesn't really count because it's technically men that the Russians lent us. So yeah. And it looks like we've completely driven them out, and the only way they've conquered some land is over here. But still, we have the upward mobility advantage, if you could say. And we got more industrial capabilities. Speaking of which, I should probably start getting our technology that we will need. Uh, let me get back to normal control. And what I'm going to need you guys to do is start industry, uh, industry tech. I'm going to need some industry, like serious, serious industry tech. Because... If we don't get industry tech, we could potentially all go bad. Okay, it looks like we're winning the wars pretty quickly. Hey, hey, do a blitz and click stance. Since we're now just like destroying everything, just go through a blitz and click. Because we don't really need to be like all like sentimentally, you know, tied up in this. We could just go a little bit faster through the army, seriously. Uh, make sure you guys are still blocking though, because I don't want any of my troops to die. Um, you guys get to a 7A division. Let's see, you guys group up with 7A. Okay. And then you guys, you guys grouped up with a stupid unit that's not using you guys to the full amount of your abilities. But everyone's blitz and cleaking right now. There we go. Good blitz and cleek. We basically just cut off the enemy. Yeah, we just cut off the enemy. The enemy is now basically destroyed. This is awesome, people. This is awesome. I'm loving this. I'm loving this kind of rapid style right now. Okay, and let's see. 
<laughs> we cut them completely off over there. Oh my goodness. And let's see, our war goals are now are right now going to be recognized. Let's see, do we have all of them? Yes, we do. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness. So once these guys are all done, we will have basically all of our country. Okay? We have basically everything we need to right now. We just need to keep moving in. We need to keep destroying everything. Hey. Hey, you guys. Ah. Uh, no. Just disconnect. You guys. Go right here. Go right here. Go right here. Go right here. Go right there. Go right there. Go right there. Okay? Since they're being idiots, I'm going to do it for you. So you go conquer what I want you guys to conquer. There we go. Blitzkrieg style working so effectively right now. We just completely crushed through everything. Oh. That's their main HQ unit. Oh. Let's go crush their main HQ unit, people! Yes! And it has honestly been absurd. We've basically won almost all this. We have them pinned down to just a little tiny front. As you guys can see, this is nothing. Let me disconnect this, disconnect that. So that they only focus on those last two points over here. And there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, they're done for. By the way, go right there too. That way you guys also conquer that too. I don't want you to forget about anything. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that was the Spanish Civil War, everyone. The Spanish Civil War. Where it literally took me um, almost less than a year to almost figure out who won. In actuality, it actually took a way longer time than that. But you know what? I accept my I accept my wins no matter what. Okay, let's see. Burgados, come on, move to Bur get Bilbo, get Burgados. Come on, guys, you literally are right there. Push towards what you guys need. Oh, come on, guys, push, push towards it. You guys conquered what you guys need to conquer. You guys just go directly towards the capital because I feel like these men are not gonna do it. <sighs> yep. The AIs, yes, AI, move in. You have a clear shot towards the capital. Don't you dare ruin this for us. You have a clear shot. You don't have to be timid. There we go. And there we go, people. The Spanish Civil War was fought in such a... was fought. And obviously, the mighty Re Republican people came out triumphant. So, now we get all of our, our policies and techno technology back. We also get our production back, which means I can actually start building up production now, because it's actually good. If you guys didn't notice last episode, I wasn't really building up my production, because it was kind of bad, and I didn't really want to deal with it. So, anyways, now it's time for us to build up some new stuff, such as industry. Because right now, we're still in the beginning of the game, and industry is still a very important part of the game. Let's see. What do we need? We need production, 8.5. Let's see. We want to build up a good amount of IBM, ICBM. So let's see, serial, parallel. Let's go about three parallel, five parallel. Let's see, 41. There we go. We can actually support 41. Dang. Yeah, 41 new ICBMs. That way we can start getting our people ready for a gigantic war. And now let's link up everyone so that they're all underneath one big gigantic commando. Unless there's enough units that I could just make a new core. Let's see, we could go right here. Let's see, make sure production-wise, no, not production-wise, research-wise, it isn't, it's giving us just enough officers. Good job. You guys are giving us enough officers, enough research. Good job. Okay, so I'm going to group up all the units that aren't exactly in accord to anyone else. So let's see, who's not, who's not in a big, gigantic defensive stance against someone? You guys aren't, so you guys go group up with these guys. I'll just make a new entire army over here, because I think... I think it's about three units per per HQ is usually about the recommended status of each. A uh, Great Depression. Oh wait, Great Peace. No, not the Great Depression. Great Peace. Sorry. All right. Let's see. ICMBMs. Now we're starting to get. Seems like my economy just crashed a little bit. Let's get it back all up and running. I want to get that. Want to get those ICBMs or IC scores done first. That way I can instantly start doing stuff. How allied are we right now to the Soviet Union? We are very much allied to the Soviet Union. We are definitely gearing towards their area. Um, hopefully, they'll influence us in the right way. Hopefully, yes, they are influencing us. That's good. That is really good because we're actually one of their war score. We're actually one of their war goals. So, it would, I would seriously hope they really want us on our side. Because we seriously would be like a great friend and buddy. Okay, you guys make a new troop. 
uh, you guys are going to be a part of a new core. Uh, so create a new army and attach this core to it. Let's see. Let's see. If I remember correctly, it's attached to HQ. Yes? Yes! That's how you legitimize it. Okay. So there we go. I think everyone's now underneath a control of some sorts. Yes, they are. We got control over here to disconnect that. By the way, if we were to attack these guys, I want Lisbon, Portobo, and over here down in the south. That way they make sure to conquer all this. Okay? So everyone go arm the, so arm the south. And let's see. Uh, Production-wise, we we'll still just keep up that. Keep up supplies. I don't really care about upgrades. Keep up consumer goods. If our people get angry at us, we're going to have a very hard time. I'm not even joking. If our people get mad at us, we're going to have a very hard time. So please don't get our people mad at us. That way we can dislock this for a little bit. That way we have much more. There we go. Keep locking that in. We need to make sure that we win and keep getting all that stuff. Let's see. We're all ready. So the next part of my land strategy is I'm going to invade our good friends, the uh, Portuguese. Why? Because I want to unite the Iberian Peninsula. So that's going to be our next goal. And after that, once the Soviet Union attacks Poland, we're going to declare war on that. And then probably when the Germanic, when the war for Germany goes on, what we're going to do is we're going to wait till Germany destroys France and destroys all this part. Then what we're going to do is, is once they're fighting the Soviet Union, hopefully the front will not be that big. Because what we're going to do is we're going to attack all these guys from the back. You know, after a little bit, of course. I don't want to just go in there. You know, stupidly, I want to wait until it's like the best opportunity for our men, personally. And then end the war. Production-wise, ah, oh man. Man, I hate when this keeps going down because I can't exactly pinpoint when this can be. Oh, man. Yeah, just keep keep building all we need. Uh, I think this should be enough. I think this is, should be all enough. I think we finally got a good balance of what we needed. Nope. As soon as I do that, it goes down. Okay. Let's see. Alright. And troops is mobilized during peacetime. Uh, I think it actually is good that we have that. Because I think if you mobilize out of this, then you actually, like, go down an ICM rating. So, I'm just going to keep this on for a little bit. And let's see. Can we declare war in Portugal yet? Not yet. We're still way too neutral of a country. But in a couple years, we won't be as neutral. And we'll instantly declare war. And conquer all the land we need to conquer. Yay! More ICMs. Let's see. Technology-wise, we need to start building more. Probably should set this to reach research while I'm just waiting. Um, we need to actually start making sure we get nuclear technology. Because nuclear technology is going to be very vastly important. But we need to make sure we have enough ICMB ratings. Um, let's see. What does this even help with? Huh. Allows construction of industrial capacity. Advanced construction allows construction of infrastructure, rocket test sites, theoretical jet engines. Do I need any of this right now? A coal plant engineers. Uh, it seems like we're generally doing fine with all of our resources, so I don't really need to get that. It's not really crucially important. Um, I guess get some more small arms things. Oh, uh, wait, wait. There we go. Get some more small arms. 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 And then from there, what I want you guys to do is go queue up uh, industry. Guess we're going to go down one point in that. Let's see. Is there anything else we need to do? Start IBM research. Start IBM research. Education, leadership, 5%. Let's get some agriculture. Get some nutrition. Get some combat medicine. And then start some nuclear test research. Okay? There we go. Start all that, and we should be fine. And from there, what we're going to do is now just watch and see what the rest of the world does. Um, yeah, because I definitely don't want to... I definitely don't want to interfere with my production. You know, just keep my production at 100. Keep everything else down. Okay? If I have to do it that way, I have to do it that way. But I'm not losing my production anymore. Supplies I could probably lose. Well, actually, consumer goods we could probably get back up because we had the upgrades go down. So, that should be fine. And yeah, we're just generally now just sitting here waiting for when we can go crush on Portugal. 
which is going to be nice. If we could go crush on Portugal, we could go be really, really nice. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go set a waypoint down here. Because I already know we have to conquer that over there. I just already know it. And probably over here too. Because those are the two places that usually the Portuguese like to hide out if they get conquered. So, we're going to conquer these places, make sure they're ours, and then go from there. Let's see. Our army's doing insanely fine right now. We have them all grouped up and have them all in different places. I kind of like that. Ah, oh, my goodness. Go right there. Now we have enough ICMB ratings to get what I need to. There's no way that's going to move down anymore. No way that's going to move up. The Hindenburg disaster. Oh, the inhumanity. Yeah, the Hindenburg place happened. Yay. No, that's not a yay. Sorry. That's definitely not a yay. <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah, these guys won't be able to supply themselves for a little bit, but we have to get this uh, production line of ICMBMs ready so that we can start doing more stuff with them. Uh. And then after that, we're going to start moving in and start doing more conquests. Oh man, I'm looking at you. I'm so looking at you, Portugal. Like, as soon as I'm ready, I'm going to go conquer you. But I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to wait until Germany does its massive conquest against... Uh, the rest of Europe, so this might get, well, I'm just kind of looking around the map, seeing if anything else has changed. What's happened with China and Japan? Nothing much. China's still alive, and China's still alive, too. Huh. Okay. Emilio Earhart disappears. So, guys, the famous av aviator, Amelia Earhart, the first woman to complete a sole flight across the Atlantic, has disappeared along with her navigator, Fred Nolan, near Hollywood Island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The two were attempting a flight around the entire world in their twin-engined Lockhart Electria plane where they vanished. A search for the missing avatar has now been conducted by the U.S. Navy and Coastal Guard. The Queen of the Year is lost. And Japan has been accepted into the Axis, which that usually sets off that these guys go to war with each other. Yep. So now Japan and China are now at war with each other, and most likely Japan will win. I mean, unless China actually got really good in the last, like, one year that they had to group up their armies, they're going to lose this fight pretty quickly. Hmm. And then, like, let's see, in, a, in over here in Germany, still haven't started anything yet, which I'm kind of wondering. Hmm. They should have at least done the Anschenbach, you know, conquest. Hmm. I guess Germany's being very peaceful this game? Wow. It usually doesn't happen. Alright. Infantry super weapons advance! Yay! That's good because I'm probably only going to focus in on infantry. I'm probably going to need that a lot. Especially considering I have very rigged elections! Eh. The people don't need to know that. <laughs> IBM advance, IBM advance, more advancements. Game more IBM scores is really nice. Get this all, uh, let's see, get these, I want these two maxed out right here, I don't care about anything else, supply limit can go be damned, and let's see, IBM, 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 let's see, research wise, how are we doing, okay, let's see, distribution of leadership, let's see, uh, we can keep about, I'm probably going to try to keep about 6.5, there we go. Oh my goodness, no, no. Keep about 1.2. Uh, diplomacy, I don't like. Really, espionage, I don't really care about. Let's do that. Uh, there we go. Wait. A little bit higher than that. There we go. I think I got everything the way I wanted it. So there we go. And let's see. Soviet Union, how close are we to, like, allying ourselves with you? Um... Yeah, we're drifting pretty much into the sphere of influence. We're getting very much into the red zone now. We're no longer in neutral kind of territory. We're definitely moving uh, straight towards them. Yep, Japan annexed Zinxi, conquered Zinxi, informed. And now they're just going to crush through all of China. I think China's probably going to give up here very, very soon because they can't stop the Japanese. Um, the only people that can stop the Japanese are the, are the Communist Party. Just because they are insanely powerful troops, that's the reason why they're not being conquered right here, people. And, let's see, maybe Japan will just outright conquer all of China. 
instead of just keeping like a little bit alive maybe they'll just go like hey we don't like China and just conquer it all that'd be pretty interesting to see actually pretty interesting over here in our land ah well thank you guys for watching fun let's play so far I'm enjoying it thoroughly see you guys next time